up sun rays welcome back to the channel it's ray if you're new here welcome today we're going to be talking about my favorite natural hair tools so the tools that i use for my natural hair what my favorites are and why so hopefully some of these can become some of your favorites if they are not already so let's just go ahead and get started so first of all i'm going to say that this scalp brush is of course one of my favorite tools and the reason being is because i can put it on my finger like so and i can grip it and when i'm in the shower shampooing my hair and um when it's time for me to detangle I put this on and I can take sections of my hair and just easily detangle my hair with it. So I love that. You also can use it to massage your scalp if need be. I found this at the dollar store. They do sell these on Amazon. They probably sell them at a lot of other places. But I got this from the Dollar Tree. I got this from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. The bristles are soft, they don't snag my hair, and I like it because it has a good grip. Every once in a while when you're in the shower and you're trying to detangle your hair with conditioner or you know, leave in, whatever you guys use, and your hands are wet, I do mine in the shower. Um, sometimes when you're using brushes or combs or whatever, they can be a little slippery and, and slip out of your hands and um, or get stuck in your, you know, your hair and your hand slips off of it. This, I like it because it's stuck to my hand I can cup it and I can just easily get through my hair. So this for real is my fa favorite natural hair tool since I found it. And I've been using this for the majority of this year. I just never have mentioned it to you guys, I don't think. I'm not sure if I mentioned it to you guys or not, but yeah, this is what I use in the shower to detangle my hair um, most times. So when I'm not using that, I will use a detangling brush. And what I like about this one, this one is, it has curl mix on it. It came in one of my curl mix kits. What I like about this one it is that it is flexible. Now I do have some other ones that are flexible as well that I used to use. Um, the Easy Brush, I believe is what it's called. It's nice too. It did come with a little thing across here. This one does too, but I don't have it on here. Um, but what I like about this one is the material it's made out of. It is made out of, it feels like it's some type of rubber, but it has some like grip to it. So this one I like better than the other one. So this one is the one that I started going to because I can use this one in the shower without it slipping out of my hands because it has that little grip there. So yeah, this, and, and it's a little larger and it glides through my hair pretty easily as well. These type brushes, you need to go down first to detangle, then you go sideways with it or horizontally with it to smooth the, the hair. So if you ever thought about using these or you have used them and you didn't like them, you couldn't get them to work, you felt like they pulled your hair, that's probably why. Go down first to detangle, go horizontally to smooth. But yeah, so as far as tank detangling, um brushes are concerned these are my favorite now every once in a while i will use a wide tooth comb to detangle and the wide tooth comb that is my favorite is this one here so um i don't even remember where i got this one from i've had this so long i don't use it often I don't use um, the combs often. You saw me use it when my hair was straightened, but every once in a while I will use this, um, you know, to detangle in the shower, or if I'm doing a detangle out here with something, I might use this, but normally I will use one of those brushes. But this is nice too. You need to have a white tooth comb. Some people prefer combs over detangling brushes. And back in the day, I always finger detangled and then if I use the tool, I normally would use a comb. When I uh, was newly natural, I'd always use a comb. I hardly ever used the detangling brush. And then somehow I flipped to the brushes over the comb. But anyway, um, I like this one. 
and it's big so it gets through my thick hair and sometimes I feel like it might be a little too big um, to get really, you know, small tangles out or whatever, but, or shed hairs that may be really down in there. But um, yeah, this one would be it. Those are my detangling um, tools that are my favorite. Another tool, natural hair care tool that a natural should not be without, and these are my favorite, are clips. So you guys see me use these all the time. You're always in my comment section asking about them. I got these from Sally's back in the day. I've had them forever. Sally's no longer carries them as far as I know. I got the colored ones. I did find some like these on Amazon. They are linked in my description box if you're interested. They only come in black and white. Um, the ones that I found. Now, they are there's two different types. So when I was first looking, I found these, which is very similar. But if you look at it, it is more, see how more rounded it is? And then if you look at this one, this one is more triangle. Okay, but they, they pretty much work the same. They're very similar. So I had these linked first and then I found these, the original ones, and I linked those, I believe. But either one of these are good and if you order from one of my links, you're gonna get one of these and they're great. So I like these better than the old school ones, which look like this. And this is a cheaper one, it's already bent, but I like these better. I just feel like they're stronger I feel like they hold my hair better. I feel like they don't snag my hair as much as these. But if you have these, that's fine too. But anyway, so these clips are my favorite clips. They're sturdy, they're thick, and I have multiples of them, so never run out. So that is a favorite. I think if you don't have clips, you need to get you some for sectioning your hair and everything like that. So yeah, those are my favorite clips. So once we are out of the shower and it's time for us to deep condition and everything, my other favorite natural hair tool is the plastic cap. So these are what I use. I buy these in a big pack. I usually get them off Amazon. You can get them from Sally's as well, but it's a big, big pack. I think they come in a pack of a hundred and I just buy these, they're very cheap. I think I have those linked in my description boxes. With, no, I think they're linked in my Amazon store. So check there, which my Amazon store link is in the description box. But I use these. A lot of people will go and take an old Target bag, Walmart bag, grocery bag of any sort and use that for their deep conditioning. And that's great, if that's what you do, that's great. Recycling the bags, that's fine. That's not me, I need a bag. I need a plastic bag that I can put on my hair, the elastic holds my hair in. I don't wanna try to fit my hair in and, and tie it up and hope it stays and uh-uh. I ain't trying to do all that. I want these, I usually double up, so I'll put it on, then I'll put a second one on top to make sure that no hair gets loose. And then I'll put on my heating cap or I'll sit under my hooded dryer but I will not do without these plastic bags. I don't wanna sit around with no, no uh, grocery bag tied on my head. Um, that's just me, I just don't wanna do it. So I prefer these. So yes, that is on my favorites list. That's on my favorites list. So after I put the plastic cap on, then I sit under my bonnet dryer, which is right here. So this is my favorites too. So if I don't sit under this, I will use my heating cap and I talk about it a lot as well. When I need to move around and stuff, I will use that. But I think I get better conditioning with this. This is consistent heat coming down on the heating caps. So I believe that it um, helps my conditioner to absorb better. The heating cap, you have to use it. It cools off within 15, 20 minutes. And then if you, um, I normally will reheat it and put it back on again just to make sure that I'm getting all the conditioning I need. So 
that it does take a little bit longer because I'm doing two rounds where if I just sat under this for 15 or 20 minutes straight heat, then I know that I that would be enough and I would be done. Um, so with that being said, then my next favorite item is this. And you can get a hooded dryer, guys, anywhere. A lot of you always say, what hooded dryer do you use? Where, you know, blah, 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 blah. I've used, this one is the Modern Elements. I got it from Sally's. The one before that I believe was a Modern Elements too that I had gotten from Sally's. Um, but you can get hooded dryers anywhere. Um, you can buy this one, I believe, on Amazon along with a lot of other hooded dryers. And um, just read the reviews. I, I think they're pretty similar. For the most part, nowadays, all of them are pretty similar. Unless you are getting a salon quality hair dryer, they're all pretty much going to heat the same, work the same, that type of thing. So it really doesn't matter what name brand you get. As long as you've done your research, it has a lot. It has some pretty good reviews on it. And there you go. So yeah. I cannot do without a hooded dryer because it's great for deep conditioning and it, with my hair and my wash and goes, uh, I need to sit under the dryer. There is no more air drying for me. I used to air dry back in the day when I had a TWA. I no longer have a TWA. I no longer air dry. So I have to have a hooded dryer. So that is definitely on my favorites list. So next guys after your hair is all dry and you need to fluff it out you need a handy dandy pick so this is my favorite pick this is an old school and has a little fist on it and I like it because it is the long one now I do have one just like this one but it's a shorter one but I like this one because it's long I feel like it can just get in there and get the hair um, if you have really big hair, if you have really long hair, you like really big afros and stuff, I think this nice big long one is good. I prefer the metal spokes over plastic. I have had the plastic picks and I have used those, but I just feel like they frizz my hair out a little bit more than these. These are metal. My hair glides a little bit better. They're skinnier. The spokes are skinnier, so I just feel like I can fluff without really doing a whole lot of frizzing of my hair. So this is the pick that I prefer. I pick this pick up. Well, I picked up a pick like this from Sally's, but I think I got this one um, and my short one and another long one from Amazon. I think it was a pack of three that I believe I picked up from Amazon. Um, and it may, they may be linked in my Amazon store too. I'm not sure, but all this stuff I will link in the description box below. So if you're interested in anything, you can go down there and click the link and get right to it. If I don't find exactly what I have here, I'm gonna find something similar to link. So just look in the description box if there's anything that piqued your interest and you want to try them out. But yes, this pick, you gotta have a pick if you are a natural I don't care if you have I don't care if you wear um, a wash and go like I do if you have a twist out and you want to fluff it up just make it a little bit bigger um, a TWA an afro sometimes you just want to wear your hair in a fro you need a pick you need a pick so there you go the next two items that are my favorite. So you've done your hair, you picked your hair, you fluffed your hair. Now you're ready to get your hair ready for bed. The next two items that are my favorite for natural hair are my sleeping caps. So I have my Humble Glow Elite Bonnet here, which I did a whole video on explaining this bonnet, showing this bonnet, reviewing this bonnet. I have a video here, I will link it. I love this bonnet, it's big, it fits all my hair. If I want to put my hair in this bonnet just like this, my all my hair fit in here, I'll get up in the morning and I'll just fluff my hair. So you always have to have a bonnet, but if I'm not using my bonnet, then I love my lock sock. And it looks like this, so it's open at this end, open at this end as elastic here. Sometimes this elastic it can get a little tight for me because that's just the nature of my head. If I have my hair in a ponytail too long or have something on my head too long, it will hurt. So a lot of times I'll put this side 
the looser side around here. Works the same, but yeah, I love this because that way I can just put it on my hair and it holds my hair straight back. So when I get, take it off in the morning, I again, I just fluff it up. But there's not a whole lot that I have to do. So I really like the tubes too. These are really good if you have braids or have your hair in twist. This is really good. It is called a lock sock. This is an official lock sock. You can get things like this from your um, local beauty supply store. A lot of times they're called a braid tube. You can get a braid tube. Sometimes if you are uh, familiar with football, they're called gators. People, the football players will wear, well, not just football players, but I know AJ, when he was a football player, they wore them. Um, especially when it was cold to cover up, keep the air and everything out of their faces. So you can use something like that as well. I will link this down below from the Lockside Company. They're more expensive. You're going to pay probably 20 something dollars or more for this. But I'm telling you, you can get something very similar. It looks like this from... The beauty supply store, I got this one from TonyDaily.com. So she makes these. She doesn't call it a braid tour or lock sock, sock. She actually just calls it a, um, a hair, what's it called? Hair, headband or whatever. So you can use it as a headband. You can use it as a braid tube. You can use it so many different ways. You can use it as a neck scarf or whatever, but they're found everywhere. So I'll link Tony Daily website i'll link locks up website and then if you guys want to look at your local beauty supply store for a braid tube you can do that as well but yeah those are the main two things that i use for my hair sometimes when i use that i still will put a bonnet on top um because it just depends my hair is getting longer so my hair hangs out of it so if i don't want my curls disturbed then i'll put a bonnet on top of that so yeah guys you gotta have a satin bonnet or something to protect your hair at night. I do sleep on a satin pillowcase as well, so I probably am overkilling, but in case something, those don't come off my head though, but in case they did, I'm still good on a satin pillowcase or every once in a while my head will start hurting, so I will yank them off in the middle of the night and then I'll just lay on my pillowcase, so there you go. Um, the other two items um, made it to the favorites list as well. And the first one is this Revlon hair dryer brush. And I like this. This may have been on one of my other favorite tools. I think I did a, a favorite tools maybe a few years ago. I'm not sure if this was on there or not, but um, it needed to be because the very first time I used this, I loved it. And then when I use it again, just recently, I realized how much I liked it. So I just like this as far as if you need to blow out your hair and you need to do it quickly. This gets the job done to me and it gets it done quick, uh, fast and it doesn't give you a whole, whole lot of heat damage. You don't have to worry about having a brush and then a hair dryer. This does it all. So I enjoy this. So this is my favorites. And I probably will start blowing my hair out just a little bit more so I can clip my ends. Since I did it now with my hair straight, I might do it like that more often versus trying to clip it with a curly. Um, that's what I'm thinking. So yeah, this is the favorite. And then the second favorite is my handy dandy blow dryer. So this is my Revlon blow dryer. It comes with attachments. So it has a diffuser. It also has a concentration nozzle that goes to it as well. But this has got to be on my favorites list too because I am one of those naturals who after I do my wash and go and I dry it under my hooded dryer, I will stretch it with my blow dryer. So have to have this. I do stretch sometimes with um, just twisting it up and letting it sit for a while. I do do that sometimes if I don't have um, anywhere to go and I have the time to, to stretch it like that or if I just feel like I've been putting a lot of heat on my hair, I'll do it like that. But normally I will go to the blow dryer because it's quicker, it's faster, I can fluff my hair and I can get on out the door. So yeah guys, that is it for my favorite hair tools for my natural hair. I'm sure that there are some other tools that you guys love 
probably a spray bottle, um, probably, you know, a straightening iron or whatever. Those are great. I do use a spray bottle as well, but I don't use it that much. And if I didn't have it, I don't think that it would make that much of a difference because if I needed to wet my hair, I can just go back and wet it a little bit. But I don't re-wet that often. If you pay attention to my videos, I don't re-wet that often. And I definitely don't use a spray bottle to refresh my hair in the mornings anymore. So that didn't make it to my favorites list. These are the things that made it to my favorites list. These are the things that I use pretty much all the time. The only thing I don't use constantly is the Revlon blow dry brush. But like I said, it's still a favorite because if I ever have to blow dry my hair, that's what I'm going to. I'm not going to use this to blow dry my whole head with a brush. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to use that. So yeah, guys, that is it. Let me know in the comment section what some of your favorite hair tools are for your natural hair. Let me know if any of the ones that I mentioned you like as well. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Thank you.